Good morning from Liseberg here in Gothenburg, Sweden, where Charlotte here is very excited. I've never been before. First time at this park, and I've not been for four whole years. I can't wait. I love this amusement park so much. And you know what? We're in for a lovely day today. Highs of 30 degrees it's Celsius. Be really hot. Hot day, but you know what? Today's a special one. It's going to be Charlotte's first ride Dance. on Helix. Hey, looking forward to that. <laughs> Along with that, there's been some other changes here at the park since it was last here. You've got a new themed area, Luna Park for 2022. So we'll check out that. There's also a new dark ride since last time I was here. Crazy. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go. And yes, of course, along with that as well, we're going to be filming some on-ride POVs on the major rides. Thank you to the park. And also a big thanks to Lisi Berg for providing us with our mission. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. But no, it's great to be back here at this amusement park. It opened back in 1923, making it nearly 100 years old. That's crazy, isn't In fact, it? next year, it will be its 100th celebration oh. here at the park. They've got big plans, as we'll talk about later in the vlog. Look at that gorgeous blue sky. Oh, it is so nice. And yeah, park hours today, 10 a.m. Wait for it, wait for it. Through until 11 p.m. <laughs> oh, fantastic opening hours. And yeah, a big reason of that is because we are in the city centre of Gothenburg. Here in Scandinavia, they love a good city centre amusement park. And uh, yeah, I really like that because it means you can just come to the park for the evening. Yeah, it's one of them parks where you pay a small fee to just walk around, you can pay per ride, or you can get a wristband, of course, that includes the different rides. There's the beauty with its big green track. I like how we get a little bit of the soundtrack from Charlotte. I just hope that uh, it's going to be okay in terms of with the hot weather today. Sweden is not used to these temperatures. But yeah, it's so nice to be walking down this central boulevard again here at the park. And yeah, we've got Valkyria to get on, the dive coaster. Unfortunately, we won't be riding on Balda this trip. It's closed at the moment. It's been shut so far this year uh, because it's having a retract done to it. I'll get it in the future. Yeah, definitely. We'll be back at some point, maybe even next year for the 100th anniversary of the park. Oh, I tell you what, it's great to see this Mac Beauty again. I can't believe it's eight years old. 2014 when I first came to this park. Fell in love with it, I really did. And it's great to be here, see it running round. Can't wait to get on there. So oh, it's going to be good. We're going to head straight up there and get on Helix. Look at that airtime hill up there. It's calling out our names. Up we go! Oh, so excited this park's filled with escalators as well to take you up the hill. If you're wondering why we didn't come straight to the escalator, it's because Charlotte's bought this cap. I needed a hat because it's so hot, my head's burning. <laughs> you haven't even been on Valkyria yet. Eight pounds? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, like for a themed theme park hat. Yeah, I think that's brilliant. There we go, here's the escalator. And what I love with this is how it's got pictures of the older rides here at the park as well. That's the thing with here, they really care and celebrate their history. They have a lot of live performances here at the park and have had concerts over the years and it's a regular occurrence, especially here in summer, having concerts and live music here at Liseberg. And that's what really makes it. Yeah, we've got a couple of sets of escalators and here she is. Well, it's advertised a zero to 10 minute wait this morning for Helix. I love the soundtrack to this ride, produced by I'm a Score. And yeah, I do love this queue line for the ride. Oh yeah, literally five minute wait just there, up the steps into the station. Yeah, the ambience of this queue, I do love it. Very industrial, modern look to it, which is very cool. These are actually bins, people don't realize there's a bin down the bottom of them, which is quite cool. Here we go. I am so excited to be in this queue line again after four years. I can't wait. Charlotte's first ever ride. Okay. Eight years after it opened. Are you ready yes. for the Helix experience? Come and join us. Let's go and ride.
are, it's great to get back on Helix here at Lucyberg. I've missed this coaster so much. And we had two rides on there. <laughs> really good there is so much packed into that coaster two launches a top speed of just over 60 miles an hour seven inversions and some crazy airtime on there, there as is well really good airtime. obviously it's a really hot day today i do think that was affecting the speed a little bit especially with our back row ride but the front row ride on there oh my god that coaster yeah, the front row ride was running really well i do prefer it at the front what did you think of the ride yeah, then? i think it's a great ride there's some really good elements on there and the views are just stunning as well that's what makes it it's the location much like icon for example back home in Blackpool um, you know it is the location what it makes is. that the ride lovely. we're on a hillside you're intertwining with all the trees uh, looking out at the park the other rides all across Gothenburg honestly it's a great ride and one of my favorite elements on there is the huge airtime hill yeah really good uh, you just whack straight up into it aren't you on you there you feel a lot higher because of where you are as well the coast feels a lot taller yeah it does because actually the structure isn't that high it, isn't, it no. is the fact that you know you built on a hill and that went into the high construction cost for this ride uh, but no, it's a great ride that top hat is amazing, it that inside really top is. hat. Yeah, really the hand time you get on there. Oh, honestly, that coaster, yeah, not running quite as fast as I remember, but I think that is due to the high extreme temperatures. It'll be better later on, I'd yeah, imagine. Very hot. Yeah, definitely. But a great ride. I'm so glad you yeah, enjoyed it. Packed with airtime, really good fun coaster. We'll be back on Helix later. Back down from the hill there now, and I love the building style of this part of the park just here. It's the music the lamppost, the buildings, and yeah, this actually had some work since last time I was here. Liseberg Bannon, I cannot wait to get back on this. It opened in 1987. It's a Schwarzkopf layout, manufactured actually by Zera, and it's had some new trains on here as well, so I'm looking forward to giving this a go. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what to expect. Yeah, imagine Helix, but without the inversions and a lot older. Right. But it rides great because it's on the hill. Yeah, you'll like this. The way it interacts with the hill is amazing. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you come to this park, you've got games absolutely everywhere. The Swedish love playing games in the parks. That's what it's all about. It is an amusement park, you know, it's for part of the experience. There's Loki swinging high over there. And here we go, let's go and get on the Lissenberg Bannon. Oh yes, can't wait for this.
I tell you what, it is hot, hot, hot it's here in Sweden. I've never been here in these kind of temperatures. Know, How was your ride on the Lisebo Banana, as I call it? I wasn't it. expecting that. That was quite good, but the brakes, oh my God, <laughs> look at this. What's really cool about the layout with that is that you do the same kind of drop three times on there. Lower, it doesn't yeah, it gets lower each time it's you really go round. Fun coast to that one. It's a great family ride. It is really smooth. Like I say, it's just a break in, you know, yeah, on there. The um, but other than that, it's a fantastic ride. It really is. Love the layout. It's really long. You see what I mean by it? like it's a family helix, Definitely, you know. Yeah. And you go around the ride, and so it's actually got a couple of helixes that one yeah, as which well, is <laughs> which is good. Helix. Yay! So it's a great ride. Absolutely fantastic coaster here at the park. I love the location on the hillside yeah, lovely. that's what makes this amusement park special the hillside location all the trees the foliage it's got a lot of history this place but I'll tell you what hasn't got history Valkyria this ride I is a beast hat. <laughs> yeah, you got the hat on, you haven't even been on it yet. Uh, this is a beautiful ride. Now, obviously, we are in an amusement park, but over the past few years, they are starting to go more down the themed experience route, and you'll find that over at Valkyria, the park's dive coaster. Charlotte is amazed with all the game stands. You got massive Tutti Fruities just over there. Yeah, I bet a <laughs> massive, we just walked past a massive Oreo one up there. Oh, well, we got Twix, Twix. Snickers, Maltesers. Oh, yes. Look at the size of this beast just here. This was the new attraction when I was here in 2018. And yeah, it's Valkyria, B&M dive coaster. And I tell you what, this park has gone through so much development because you see that building right there in the distance. That wasn't here last time that I was at this park. That's the new Grand Curiosa Hotel that's opening next year. It's a massive new hotel and it seems weird walking down this part of the park and seeing a building there because before there was absolutely nothing there. It's really weird. <laughs> What an absolute beast. Valkyria features a 164 foot drop, three inversions, and like I say, oh, it was opening year for this when I was last at this park. All these trees have grown so much since it was last here. Look at this. And that's the thing, they're going down that themed route. You've got a river that runs through the middle of the park here as well. So obviously this had to be really well designed with the track and supports. Look at this, it's so green and luscious now. Like, the park looks very different to last time I was here. Even more beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. great, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. Are you ready to get on? Yeah, I can't wait for this. Yeah, nice big dive coaster. <laughs> this will be Charlotte's first dive with vest restraints. Yeah, so I don't know what to expect. Now, in 2018, the vests weren't too bad. They weren't getting too tight. So I'm hoping that doesn't affect the experience today. But yeah, there's a little look at Balba. It's a shame that we're not getting that. It's a brilliant wooden coaster. It's packed with airtime. It's built by Intamin. But yeah, it's been closed throughout this year. And uh, yeah, we're not too sure when it's going to be back open. Probably going to be next year. Because you can see they've literally ripped the track apart at the top there. There's a big crane in. And yeah, they're doing awesome work on there. It's having the full retract treatment, similar to what Hyder Park did with Colossus, the other uh, prefabricated wooden coaster.
So we just had our ride there on Valkyria, only waited about 10 minutes. You're not allowed any bags in the station for that one. Not unfortunately. They have got free lockers available though. Yeah, which is good, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's a fantastic coaster that is. Like dive coaster I've ever done. There you go, oh. I've not done many, though, no, no, I think that's like your fourth, yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. I'm glad the vest restraints didn't take away yeah, from it for you. Lock, didn't they, which was good. Yeah, it's nice because obviously on like the wind coasters such as the swarm, they get tighter and tighter. Yeah, I don't like it. No, no. They stayed open the whole way. Yeah, I'm glad because I didn't know if that was just when it first opened, but no, they've stayed like that. Really good. Look at the merch in the shop I as well. Love this t shirt. Yeah, merchandise is really good pricing. Like we say, the cap was pretty cheap That's and the t shirt. Yeah. Too bad. I love that. Nice, isn't it, with a picture of the coaster? It. It's a beautiful theme ride, this is. I mean, look at the shop just here, all the branches, you got all the fiber optics as well. The station is a wooden Norse church, which is really cool. Yeah, it's a very nice ride. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Well, Kerry got the bags, these work out about five pounds. Yeah, some of the cheapest theme park merch around actually here at Lisiburg. But no, it's a cracking coaster that is. I really like it. It's a good long layout as well, isn't it, that ride? Yeah, I love it. I'm glad that you liked it. Yeah, some great theme merch for a fantastic themed coaster. After that ride there on Valkyria, it's time for some food, and Charlotte is now trying a Swedish tradition, Max Burger. I've never heard of them. Yeah, they're really big here in Sweden. I say a tradition, I don't know, but they're very popular. They're in the airport, they're absolutely everywhere, these. Yeah. Max Burger, what was it you went for just there? I went for the crispy chicken, fries, and a drink for eight quid. Yeah, that's all right, that isn't it? There you go, nice food for Charlotte just there. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful day, and look at the dancing going on. That's what I love about this park. It's so much more than just a theme park. People don't just come for the rides, like, it's lovely. Yeah, they have concerts on a regular basis, and yeah, like, I love that. It's just so special, isn't it? We'll have to have a dance. Oh, it makes it so unique. Not as good as your dancing though, Charlotte. <laughs> but yeah, this is the best view in the park, in my opinion. Look at that, Helix up on the hillside atmosphere just over there the drop tower look at that wow aero spin over in the background there obviously there is a crane there at the moment and the view's changed a little bit because yeah you've got that new building that's going in just there that isn't part of the park there's a little museum just outside that's what that's part of well yeah, i'm gonna get some lunch now i'm just over here what have you got there, Sean? Time for my food now. This worked out about nine pounds fifty. Got nice fish and chips just here. That looks look nice. Look at, that. look at this tray just here as well. All nicely themed in. That's what I really like about Leesburg. Everything's just done to a real nice quality. It's like in here. It's clean, fresh, modern, and well themed. And yeah, this looks absolutely divine. Oh, that was lovely. Really nice meal, and yeah, good price for the food as well. Still dancing just over here. <laughs> it's lovely, but yeah, all these facades around here are very nice. It's like this little fishing town. But everything's not quite very nice over here on the right. This is Hotel Gaston. It's a scare experience. Are you ready for this? Yes. It's a really good scare maze, this is. So yeah, obviously we can't film inside, but we'll give you a little review when we come out. Well, that was absolutely amazing. We waited about 10 minutes there for Hotel Gaston. Oh. Well, that's it. The theming was just phenomenal, to be honest. It's incredible. And the good thing is, it's included if you get in a ride wristband which here, really uh, which is fantastic. But I tell you what, you're in there about 10 minutes. Love there was loads it. of actors. And also, they recognized us in it there. You know, I was leading the group. It's a hands on shoulders maze. And yeah, they were coming up going, sure. Yeah, and it was added funny. to it. But how good's the theming really in there? Good. I couldn't believe that it was like an actual scare maze but like it's not been anything else before yeah you thought it was like an old building that's yeah, been transformed like, oh my god they're all genuine theming in there what's Amazing. been built it's like really absolutely good. epic and yeah what a love in there there's a room what's on its side and all the chandeliers are swinging you actually walk over water it's like the hotel's flooded it's quite tricky, actually. oh it's amazing but yeah it's not too full on with the scares but i tell you what the theming in there is incredible it's makes really it great that. experience that is and the award for the most amount of boats on rapids goes to Colorado just here. This is our next ride. We'll take you on with a nice POV on this lovely hot day. Temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius. I never thought I'd be saying that in Sweden, to be honest. 
record temperatures here. Yeah, I think it's gonna have a big queue, but it's gonna be more than worth it. Another view there looking at Balba. It is weird coming here and not getting on it. I am missing it this trip, but it's certainly a reason to come back to this park in the future, and I'm sure it'll ride even better after the retrack. I tell you what, good operations on here. They're packing the boats, loads of money. Nine, Yay! Nine, I was in the boat on this. Oh my God. Tell you what amazes me though with this ride, you wouldn't think we was in the middle of a city centre. Like, look at all the planting, all the trees, lush landscape, which is really nice. You wouldn't yeah. think, oh, wouldn't think he was in the middle of Gothenburg. Yeah, look at this. Really nice. Got some good effects. Yeah, the main road's the other side of there. You wouldn't think it. <laughs> yeah, we only waited like 10, 15 minutes max. Oh, Charlotte's all right though, she's in the middle. Hey, oh, packed in. <laughs> Woo. That's why you queue for the scare, mate, just up there. Yeah, didn't wait that long for that either. We're doing all right. I thought it was going to be really busy. We looked at the app yesterday. Oh! We looked at the app yesterday. It looked rammed, but it's all right. You okay there? We went all damning fast. We got some more effects coming up with a Valkyria cap on as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, nice and misty. Really refreshing. It's 31 degrees Celsius now. Lovely. Perfect with all the mist. Oh, oh, we got the jump in. Oh, I thought I was going to get me then. Yes, the little... <laughs> oh, I got my back. You right there, Charlotte? I'm not <laughs> oh, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, the... oh, <laughs> that's nice to me. Oh, it keeps getting me back. That's really refreshing. Yeah, the rapids itself, you don't get too wet from. It's more the effects on here, to be honest. Yeah, massive sound barrier that is over there. Yeah, very well designed. Into the rapids just there. Oh, Colorado. Oh, I'm a space, this. There we go. Woo. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey. Yeah, nice landscape ride. You okay there? Look at that face. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Considering there's nine of us in. Uh, <laughs> Rapidos. Yeah. You okay. No. Yeah, <laughs> going backwards. Oh. <laughs> oh, I do love a good rapid. Especially a nice day. Got a good log flume here as well at this park. Flume ride. Oh. <laughs> hey, do you check out the brand new dart ride next. I say brand new. It opened a while back now, but I've just not done it yet. Oh. I got me there! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and again, you know, it's a good job I changed seat with Charlotte. Oh blimey! They're all laughing at me on this boat, I tell you. Oh blimey. Oh no, we've got a big effect just there. He's gonna go. There we go! Oh, oh my god! There we go! Oh Charlotte! Brilliant! Oh my god! How are you getting on there? She's on edge! Yay! That's Loki! <laughs> Brilliant that! That's Colorado! Actually, that's the best ride I've ever had on this! There we go! Oh god! Oh, that was a funny one that! Uh, oh no, a bit worried about this wave! Could it be the KFC? They were hey, Charles leaning into this so thing, trying to get me wet! Oh, end of the ride! I hope that doesn't get us. Oh no, they're going in sync, are they? That one, then this one again. Oh no, we're going this way. We're all right. Oh! Oh, how was your ride there then, Charlotte? I've got a very soggy back. Oh, that's just what you want on a nice hot day like this, so isn't it? Many effects coming off, and they all got happy. That's the best ride I've ever had on that. Oh, there was nine of us in there. All the mist on there as yeah, well. It was, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, really enjoyed that. There's a look at Loki. Oh, I can't wait to get back on it. But it'll wait for now because we've got a new dart ride to get on around here. Yeah, I cannot wait to give this a go. You've got all the lovely planting here as well. It's such a nice park, it really is. And it's not all about big thrill rides. You've got a lot of family attractions here as well. As you can see with the car ride just over here. Have the little boats just over to the left with the lighthouse in the middle. That's really cool. And we've still got Luna Park to check out, which is up on the hill just there as well. So we'll head up there shortly as well. Yeah, it's just great to see all this change and investment that's come into this park. 
Yeah, like look at the car ride here with the trucks. Really nicely done. Yeah, all the buildings, the planting. So nice to just finally be back here. So yeah, just around the corner here, you've got the little drop towers as well. One's a lighthouse and then the other one is a crane. Yeah, it's cool that, isn't it? Yeah, it actually lowers down as well, like it's picking up some cargo. And then we're around here now into the land of the rabbits just here. Of course, Lisseburg is very famous for its park mascot. Oh, we saw them this morning, very cute. Oh, they are lovely. And yeah, you've got a variety of different rides down here. There's two junior roller coasters. You've got the little monorail ride that runs around the top. Uh, lots of different flat rides, such as the teacups. Oh, there's the big bunny. <laughs> they love it. You see people walking around with their ears on as well, which is good. I remember opening day, actually, uh, when I was here last. You know, they were giving out the ears, which was really cool. And now they've built a dark ride somewhere in this area. Uh, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. It's a fantastic area for families with so many different rides. You've just seen some footage of one of the coasters they've got down here. Nice big windmill, play equipment. And even as we actually walk past it, we couldn't find the entrance just. It's that hidden. Under Landits. There we go. So yeah, we're going to uh, check this out now. Brand new dark ride. Oh, yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. Who remembers when they used to have that uh, really rubbish dark ride here? It was absolutely awful over where Valkyria is now. Oh, nice carrots here. So yeah, it's good to see them. Uh, putting in a new dark ride and the theming for this looks great. Love the sign, how it all moves and is animated there as well. That's very cool. Look at the E just swinging away. This is really cool. So we're in an elevator just here being taken down. I like all the screens and flickering lights. Very cool. Nearly at minus six. blown away by that dark ride like no one's really talking about that and it's amazing that was absolutely brilliant like there was just so much going on and that was probably one of the best family dark rides i've ever been on i completely agree it was just over four minutes in length and yeah what i liked as well is how you went down the elevator uh, which was really cool kind of taking you underground into the rabbit world yeah. and i tell you what the whole show building is all hidden away as well to see it. and then the ride system itself yeah it was multi-level and it actually spun around yeah, which was really I cool there was so much going on. There was animatronics full of the bunny rabbits, of course. But it was so vibrant, really colourful. Soundtrack lighting. There wasn't one thing that I would change I with that. Completely agree. It's probably one of my favourite dart rides I've ever done. Absolutely that is. Brilliant. It's just such a shame that no one's riding it. Like we walked straight on. I mean, the park's busy as you've seen, but no one's down there. I think it's massively because of how hidden it is. People don't realise what it is. Like Sean said, it looks from the outside like a little playhouse or something. What it really needs is a video playing outside and also one of the ride vehicles. I outside to kind of attract people in because that is absolutely amazing that's one of the best rides at this park in my opinion 
I love that so much. I don't really know why loads of people aren't talking about that in the enthusiast world, to be honest. Fantastic. I think because of the pandemic and delayed yeah. openings and the park was shut for a year. So, you know, no one's, it's gone under the radar, that. It's just such a shame, it's oh, brilliant. Absolutely outstanding family attraction, that. Highlight of the day getting on there, really enjoyed it. A few minutes on from that experience and I'm still blown away. It was amazing that was, really good. And compliment this park beautifully. Their only dark ride and done so well. Yeah, loads of other flat rides around here. To be honest, the park's doing really well coping with these temperatures um, because yeah, it is so hot here today, it really is. Little rocking tug just over there as well. Yeah, all the greenery and landscaping here is lovely. Oh, here's another one. One big happy rabbit family. Oh, they're so cute, aren't they? I just had to, hello. <laughs> I just had to draw Charlotte away from the plush uh, cuddly toy. Oh, hey, oh, you get a cuddle. Oh, how cute is that? Hey, on YouTube. <laughs> Fantastic. Bye -bye. Oh, I get one as well. Thank you. Oh, bye. He was cute. Yeah, I had to draw Charlotte away just from the uh, soft toy. Yeah. <laughs> well, like I say, you've got two junior coasters down here. You've got Stamp Bonon and also Rabalda just here. You saw some footage of Stamp Bonon, just the small little ride that they've got. And this is slightly bigger. <laughs> Loads of people got the big plushies. Yeah, this is Zero Force 2 just here. Look at Helix up there on the hillside. Absolutely phenomenal. Look at that airtime mill. Can't you just feel it, viewers? But yeah, it's nice how they've got a perfect family area here as well. It's not all about the big thrill rides at this park, and that dark ride was simply stunning. Back up on the hill there now, where it's time to experience atmosphere. This time, it's actually got VR, so yeah, this is a new edition for 2022. Seems like uh, Liseberg are a little bit late to the party with this one. I'm gonna have a go with the VR on Yeah, I mean, it does seem like the park are a little bit late with this, in my yeah, opinion. It is, yeah, but it's good that they give you the option, it's not an upcharge. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, it's included, it's free. I do worry a little bit about, you know, the throughput with the, the headsets and stuff. But so yeah, it's a 300 foot drop tower, opened in 2011. And it used to be an observation tower, fun fact for you, Charlotte. But uh, there you go. So yeah, we'll give this a ride, but don't worry, it's not too forceful, this one. Well, I've got to say, for a park that's got absolutely fantastic operations on all of the other rides, this is shockingly slow. I'm really surprised that they've gone for this, because obviously they have to load the ride up, check all the safety restraints as standard. Of course, safety is always paramount. But then also, then the same staff have to go around and deliver the VR headsets. They have to go around and make sure they're all secure. We're over four and a half minutes into this gondola being parked up, and yet still nowhere near ready to, ready to go yet. People still got to get their headsets on. Yeah, it's not the best operations with this one. Also, unfortunately, the rise lost all of its atmosphere. <laughs> hey, because yeah, you're here in the queue line, you have all audio playing and yeah, nice theme lighting. It's very quiet now. A little bit of music plays just as it starts to lift up, and that's about it. Which yeah. It's a shame because it's lost all that build up now. Used to get people really terrified in here with the ambience. But still, we'll give it a go and see what it's like. Atmosphere VR. about 20 minutes there to ride atmosphere with VR oh, no. but we got straight on and then my headset didn't work the first time oh, no. but the operators did let us have a second go on there and well what can I say the VR quality is very good it's very good quality the actually. content of the VR is very good you actually go up uh, you're in this kind of alien space world uh, and then of course you drop back down and then you do see helix as well Thank like you, an animated yeah. version however VR does not belong on Rise, and it definitely doesn't belong on Drop Tower, does I it? I really 
enjoyed it, but I do agree with Sean, it shouldn't be on rise. Yeah, 100%, it was really slowing down the throughput. It's over six minutes for a dispatch. Um, I didn't really see the point of it on a drop tower. No, because the drop tower's confusing, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Like Sean said, it's like building up the atmosphere and the fear and stuff like that. But when you've got a headset on, you don't get the fear. You don't, like, you know, the idea is you're climbing up, you're looking over the park, you're thinking, oh yeah. my God, we're getting higher and higher. And then you hold at the top and you drop down. You don't get that with a VR no, headset. You don't. There's no point in having a 300 foot tall ride with a VR, with a VR headset. headset. They're supposed to be for walk through experiences. Like that new experience at Alton Towers. It's not on a ride, it's a walk through. Uh, that's how VR should be, in my opinion. I don't really like it. It's my least favourite addition they've put in at this park, and I hope it doesn't really stick about for much longer. Oh, here she comes, the absolute beauty. Helix. Oh, honestly, I love that ride to bits. Cannot wait to get back on there later. Plenty of time, parks open through until 11 o'clock. Yeah, we're here up on the hillside now, about to make our way down to Luna Park. Now, this is the new area for 2022. And also, next year, they're gonna be building a new roller coaster that I'll talk about in just a moment. Yeah, you got the s, &S swings just here as well. And what makes these is that when you actually swing out that way, you're on the side of the hill, which is really cool. And yeah, you got a bit of a better cycle than Rush at Thorpe Park. Brilliant. But yeah, look at that top hat there. The inside top hat, absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's great up here. Because you look at Lee Spoke Bannon just there. And I love these lights. One of my favorite things in this park are these lovely lights. Like, they're just really unique. They're like glass old school lamps, which are really cool. Ah. Oh. But yeah, look at this. This is what makes the park for me. It's the location, it really is. One of the best amusement parks out there. And here we go, we've just seen Helix coming around, so we'll see it coming up again just here. Into that second launch. Here she comes, making her way round for us on this fine afternoon. Wow. So welcome to Luna Park. Now, parts of this area may look quite recognizable, and that's because most of it really has been in for a few years. However, it's now officially known as Luna Park. You got Aerospin just over there, actually inspired by Blackpool Tower at the top of that just there for you. Little Gerslar. But yeah, they've installed one of the very popular additions now that go into parks from Zamperla, one of the Nebula's attractions just over here. And it's lovely, all the planting, all the gardens around here, it's very nice. But yeah, this looks great. However, it is a two year phased project because next year they're going to be opening the world's largest Vacoma family boomerang. Be really good, it's it? going to be called Luna and it's going to be over 100 foot tall. Oh, that's a big one, yeah, massive for a family boomerang. So I'm looking forward to that. Another coaster addition here to the park that will be great to see. And yeah, a nice mid range family coaster. But I tell you what, that fits in beautifully there with all the lovely planting. That's the great thing at this park. You know, they really do the full package. All this looks great. That's why I'm so surprised they went with the VR on Atmosphere, to be honest. You know, it's just a really weird and bizarre addition for a park that does things to such a high standard like this. But yeah, that looks really nice. Obviously, the Nebula rides are very popular. Not the best with throughput, but I think visually they look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So it's not just Tempest that's new here in Luna Park for this year. You've also got this nice little flat ride called Turbo here as well. And yeah, this is very nicely themed, done to a nice high standard, which is great to see. It's everything, isn't it? Like the theming in the middle, the fence panels, the lighting, even the signage. It's all done really nicely here at Liseberg, which is great to see. And yeah, I love this new Luna Park sign just over here as well. Loads of gorgeous planting, photo opportunities, and the carousel just at the back there as well. But uh, now I'm really looking forward to seeing Luna when it opens here next year. I think it'll fit this area absolutely beautifully. While we're entering into the evening now here at Liseberg in Gothenburg, and it's time for some flat rides now. There's Loki just over there. Gonna be heading on there shortly. We got Mechanica as well. And yeah, just here, Going on jukebox just here now. Going to sit in a nice little car. So yeah, we'll put in a little bit of footage of this in action. Yeah, it's so visually pleasing to watch. Look at this. I 
absolutely love Jukebox. It's a fantastic ride. And yeah, we spent a bit of time walking around the park, soaking in the atmosphere. And talking of soaking, are you ready for the flume ride just here? Is it just one drop? Well, you will find out. I'm going to uh, leave that one with you all. But yeah, come and join us for a nice POV as we take you on the park. Classic flume. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so? Oh, you, honestly, Shite, you're going to be absolutely yeah. fine. <laughs> And here we go then with our nice evening ride on Flume Ride. Charlotte's here behind oh, me. No, look at the size of this. <laughs> Charlotte's first time going on this. Enjoying the park. You got the little boat ride there as well. Little ferries. Massive lift hill on this one. <laughs> it's a classic this. Here we go then, just approaching the top of the lift hill now. Here we go, it looks like the chop's been repainted actually since last time I was here. Whoa, oh, they got me already. What's going on in the back? We got some funny noises. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what's really nice? I know, yeah. What's really nice about this is that it takes you around this whole top section of the park, Luna Park around here. And yeah, like we say, opening next year, family boomerang coaster. It's going to be amazing, looking forward to that. As aero spin. It is, yeah, it builds up some good speed round here. Get a cracking view of Helix round here, the second law. The time in there, if you get it, is fantastic. Not tonight, unfortunately. And look how close you get to the track. That's what makes Lisiburg. It is the location of everything. I look at this. Some of the best views you're gonna get from a log flume. <laughs> we just keep climbing and not dropping. How do you feel about that? That's what's worrying the shore. It's because you've got two big drops coming up. <laughs> One after the other. And if you look just here, you can see some of the foundations for Luna. Look at that. There you go. So yeah, we believe the lift hill is going to go out up to that top section. Yeah, looking forward to that. Nice little bridge for the play area in Luna Park. Oh, this is a nice bit of interaction now. With Tempest just there. Can we get a wave? Whee! Nothing. <laughs> Thought we might have got one. Right, Charlotte, the time has come. Oh, no. We're coming round to the drops yeah, now. Time to prepare. Yeah. Oh, you, is it, no. this, is this is it. It's a nice oh, no. scenic ride, and then you get to two big drops. Here we go. Just for Charlotte. Oh. Here we go. Woo! Oh! Ah! Flume ride! Oh! <laughs> oh no. What's going on in the back? Yeah, you're all right. Let's just straight into it. This is the wet one now. This is it, viewers. Look at that view, Mechanica. Oh my god, here we go. Woo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that! She's absolutely <laughs> dripping. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Brilliant, hey, there's Pontus up there as well. Hey. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, here's Charlotte then, how was that? I'm absolutely sick. It's a fantastic flume ride that. <laughs> That's the thing, you just keep climbing and climbing. And look at this, she's absolutely dripping. I tell you what though, it is 31 degrees today. It's a nice cool. <laughs> yeah, perfect weather for it. But there you go, flume ride, an absolute classic. And uh, yeah, Charlotte had a soak in, that's what I like to see. I tell you what, it's nice now that the sun's going down a little bit. It's been absolutely baking hot today. Perfect for that ride on the flume. But I tell you what, I'm more than happy now seeing the sun going down. Perfect for some more flat rides. Yeah, we're gonna start off just here on Mechanica, of course going to take you on for a POV. Yeah, this zero star shape is really pleasing to look at with all the great theming on there. I mean, look at the design of it. It's also got some fantastic lighting on there as well. But uh, here we go. Are you drying off there now, Charlotte? Oh, I'm so <laughs> oh, Right, are you coming on? I'm going to give it a go. She's going to give it a go, everybody. Oh, you don't normally do the big flat rides. No, to be honest, it's not too intense, this one. Give it a go. Let's go and uh, give this one a try, but uh, here we go. Let's look at it in action. I love this part now where it just spins round at the top because you get some epic views across the park. Let's go and ride.
with Charlotte going on some of these massive flat rides. Yeah, it is. How was that for you? To be honest, that wasn't too intense at all. We didn't really flip that much, so I was okay. And the views were amazing. Yeah, there was. With the sun going down as well, absolutely fantastic. But yeah, it's more of a themed experience than anything too intense. Yeah, the that one. really nice on there, but it's not intense. I'm really proud of you to give these flats a go. Know. Next, you'll be telling me that you're going to come on Loki this day. But I am. You're actually going to come on. I'm going to give it a to go. To be fair, you did the one at Jurors in I Denmark. Did. I'm going to give it a go. And you said you weren't doing one again. It yeah. Wasn't too <laughs> Bad, but I'll give it a go. Yeah, this is the same model. You can see it there behind us. Intimate gyro swing. Absolute beast of a ride this is. What really makes this ride is how not only does it swing out over the water here, it swings straight over to Balda, creating a brilliant near miss. Obviously, Balda's closed at the moment. However, you're still going to get that effect on the ride just here. Look how close it gets to the track just there. And the crane as well from this angle. Absolutely brilliant ride. So let's take you on with the POV. With the sun going down here in Gothenburg. Back in Sweden after four years. Oh, I love this country. It's great to be back. Right there then on Loki. I really enjoyed it to be honest. Oh, I'm glad that you liked yeah, it. it. Was good fun. And the near miss element with Balda as well. Shutting my eyes to be honest. <laughs> the fact you just got the lap bars as well. Oh, no. Amazing. Well, well, here we go. We've got a special guest with us here today, of course, taking us round the park. Hello, it's Pontus. Yeah, it is so nice to see you after four years. I can't imagine it's four years long. It's been a long time. Yeah, but it feels like you're here all the time. I, I know, it, like, it just feels like I'm back home again coming to this park, to be honest, Pontus. Well, I'm glad that you feel like that way, bro. And so much change and new attractions. Yeah. Have a good day so far. Fantastic. Even better for seeing you, Pontus. <laughs> and of course, he's taking us round, sharing lots of facts about the park and on-ride POVs. I mean, look at this place. This is actually my favourite view in the park, especially with the sun going down. Yeah. It's beautiful. And we have several things more to see today. Oh. Uh, one bit now, no one has seen it. So you will be the first like, oh. to do that. Oh, and are we allowed to take the viewers along for this or? Oh, well, let's uh, let's follow Pontus and let's go and see it. So obviously I've been to this park a lot now since I first visited eight years ago. And I've walked past this building and never been inside Pontus. No, and no one has. Okay. So this is London here. It's the oldest house in the park. It's built in 1753. Wow, it's really old. Yeah. Uh, I can't like swear that it's the original furniture upstairs, but you will see it's old. Okay, let's uh, let's go and take a look inside. I like the little lights on the outside. Oh wow! Oh. Look at this. This is really cool. So never seen before on YouTube. Oh look at the pictures on the walls. Oh wow! Can you imagine living in here, Pontus? Like that would be <laughs> that would be really nice. Yeah, I can both buy yeah. the house. Yeah. <laughs> It is literally a full house, like inside the park. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, oh big piano there in the middle. Oh wow, look at this. And you can like smell the age of the furniture in here as yeah. well, like which is special. And we have a um, conference room here. Oh, yeah. And with old photos on the walls. 
Ah, I see. Yeah, it's it's how it looks. looks. Oh yeah, or look how it looked, I would say, once in a time. And that's the thing with this park. It's got so much history throughout. It's nearly 100 years. I mean, look at this. All the water just down the bottom here. Oh, fascinating stuff. Wow, look at this. All the old pictures. Just the history of this. Oh, yeah, just everything. That's what really <laughs> makes this park. You know, it's the heritage of this. How much to buy this, Pontus? Is it for sale? Can I move uh, in? Not for the moment. No. <laughs> I'll get in touch when I do. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty spectacular. It's quite something. Right in the middle of the amusement park. Wow, it really is wonderful in here, Pontus. Yeah. Thank you so much for bringing us in. Oh, I can't. <laughs> wow. And we've got the piano just down here as well. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you play? I, I don't play. No, I wish I did. Do you play? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Uh, do, would you like to give us a demonstration? How about that? You want me to play? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. okay. Pons is going to play us a little song just in here. I don't know what to expect. Well, here we go. Oh. Yeah, that's one tune. <laughs> That was absolutely wonderful. Was you like it? All the years I've been visiting theme yeah. parks, amusement parks, I've never been in like a private house like this. Just <laughs> us and have someone play the piano. That was wonderful, Pontus. Thank you so much. That was really special, that was. Uh, amazing. Thank you so much. Pontus, everybody. Oh, there you go. Drop him some love in the video comments. We know you all love seeing Pontus. That was really special. I tell you what, I am blown away there with Pontus' skills. I can't believe that, to be honest. That was epic. Like, when he asked me, can you play? I was like, well, no, I was going to have a little jokey go. And then I he bet just... you're glad you didn't now. He's a professional Pontus. Thank you so much you. for taking us around. Obviously, he took us around the park to get some on-ride POVs. And that's that exclusive there. And he's revealed to us that tomorrow we're heading into to the brand new hotel. I can't wait. The Grand Curioso. We're going to be having a little look around there tomorrow. Look behind the scenes. On the construction site and also going up onto the roof and seeing that epic view. It's a theme park worldwide exclusive. Yee. It's coming up in the next vlog here on the channel. Yeah, we're going on this little boat ride just around here now in Rabbit Land. Do a couple more rides this evening. Here we go then on the nice little boat ride here in the Rabbit Land. Some lovely theming and planting around here as well. And yeah, if you are coming to the park, it does seem like the family area. Just get a little bit quieter later on as well. It gets busy in the daytime. Yeah, it does. Yeah, what a lovely park. It's so pretty here. And this is where it really comes alive. Oh, this little duck just having a shower just over here. Oh, See him. <laughs> there he is. Hey. Oh. That's lovely. <laughs> Oh, they look nice. Look at that strawberry and cream cake there. Really I can good. just eat that. Oh, oh, what? Take the strawberry. That's the best bit there, Charlotte. Oh, controversial that. Controversial. Yeah, nice little ride. <laughs> oh, the little rabbit scarecrow just down here as well. Charlotte nearly got took out by some watering cans then. Oh, there was a watering can that went all over it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Bumpy, bumpy. Right, I think we'll get around this little monorail ride now because this looks walk on as well. So, while we go on there. Well, this is quite funny from what we were saying earlier on about the dart ride. Here's one of the ride cars out the front. They got one in here. How funny is that? That must have been in here advertising the ride. There you go, that definitely, yeah, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, the idea is that takes you down into the underworld. Ah. Cannot wait to get back on Helix tonight. Not going to be any night rides because, yeah, it doesn't really get dark in Sweden, which is really interesting. Well, yeah, here we go. So, a nice little pedal round. The question is, Charlotte, do the pedals do anything? Oh, it does. Hey! <laughs> Yeah, we've got the big wheel just over there, so we're going to have a ride on there shortly. Oh, Helix going through its Norwegian loop just there. Oh, blimey. 
But yeah, they've got a lot of construction going on here because obviously they're doing Bowler at the other side of the park. But on this side, they're building like a new underground system that should be completed in 2026 here in Gothenburg. I say should be. Will it get delayed? We'll find out. <laughs> Wow, one of the best views in the park just there, look at that. The skyline of this place is absolutely incredible. And all the investments they've made, oh there goes Helix, lights are on, oh, amazing. Why well, it's just gone 9.30, we've left Rabbit Land and we're going for a ride now on the big Liseberg wheel. Well, we'll get some lovely views, not just of the park, but also over the city of Gothenburg. And here we are then on the big wheel. And yeah, I was mentioning how they're building a big underground network here in Gothenburg. Yeah, I think there's gonna be three main stations for it right in the city. There's some of the foundations. I mean, yeah, four years since it was last year. Look at the work. And there's a view out towards the city itself. Obviously, a lot of people that do come to Liseberg stay at Gothia Towers. It's got a swimming pool. You can just see it there, little pink green, helix colours, right there on the middle tower about halfway up. Fancy a swim in there? It's quite high up, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge. And talking of high up, look at this view across the park. Wow, spectacular. And yeah, that building off to the right, that's brand new. We can see the Grand Curiosa down the bottom there, and we're going to be learning all about it and having that exclusive tour in tomorrow's vlog, which is going to be great. Cannot wait for that. Uh, but yeah, also the park I hope to expand, kind of past Belder, down to the left in the future as well, which is very exciting. And obviously this will be future park space again, where the cranes are, uh, because yeah, they demolished like a theatre area and some other buildings to allow for this major construction project. Still got the main entrance down here, but it'll be interesting to see what that's like in the future. Got to wait a few years though, 2026 until that's going to be completed. But yeah, lovely views from here on the Ferris wheel. Some lovely views there on the big wheel over the park. It's really nice, the lights came on. Oh, it's great, yeah, that's what makes it extra special now. We're not really getting night time at Liseberg this trip, but you know what, the lights have come on around the park anyway for this last little bit. And we're gonna have another ride now on Helix. <laughs> Da -da. Let's go, looking forward to this. We'll put in some off-ride footage and then have a little stroll around the park and uh, take it in with the nice lights. A semi-night uh, yeah, time atmosphere yeah, at the yeah. park. You know, it's still lovely being in a park at this time on a night. I love it. We have just had a spectacular ride there on Helix. It was a really good ride. It was running so fast. Oh my god, it was so much faster than earlier on. Gosh, yeah. It was definitely the heat earlier on that was making Gosh, it a little yeah. bit slower, but oh blimey. How are you rating it then now? Are you loving really, it? I really enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah, packed with airtime. Yep, yeah, loads of airtime. Lots really of great elements. Really yeah, fantastic. Now it's the lap bars on there that make it as well, of course, with the map trains. And then the location of this ride, that's what really makes it special, you know. Um, look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous here at this park, especially at night and when the sun goes down like this after a hot day. Just look at it, absolutely spectacular. There she is, that's what I was waiting for. The Mac Beauty. Oh, yeah, light on the trains. Oh, it really is. A brilliant experience. I was a little bit disappointed there was no audio just though in the station and the queue line. Yeah, I'm not too sure if the audio is having a few issues. But yeah, this really is a special ride. It's a special park for me. I fell in love with it eight years ago. It's been great to get back. I and mean, yeah, I was going to end today's vlog now with some nice ambient park clips to show you some more footage of the park Hello. at night. Hello, hey!
may not be seeing this park whilst it's pitch black this trip, but you know what? Just walking around and seeing all the lights on, it's got its own magic about it, this place. It really is beautiful. I have loved getting back here. Since 2018, I've been wanting to return. And you know what? It has not disappointed. I've loved it today. I've had a really good day today. The park's absolutely beautiful. It's got some fantastic rides as well. It has indeed. It's got that amusement park vibe with some great theming. And honestly, just the atmosphere here is great. But I love it at this time of night now. Yeah, it looks lovely. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Of course, the standout attraction Helix, absolutely loved getting back on there. Riding just as good as ever. I was a little bit concerned this morning with the speed, but yeah, it was just down to the temperature that was. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I also enjoyed the dark ride. Yeah, the dark ride was definitely the highlight for me seeing new things today. I loved that it so much. Brilliant. It blew us away that did. It was really high quality. Along with that, getting back on some of the other rides. Loki, Valkyria. Yeah, just some great rides. Charlotte's new favourite dive coaster here yeah, as well. Brilliant. Yeah, it's a great ride. It really is, and you can see it there behind us. Along with that, the water ice, flume ride, oh, <laughs> Colorado. Everything's been absolutely fantastic, other than the VR and atmosphere, oh, really. No. Uh, I had to mention that one more time. Hopefully, next time I step foot in this park, it's not going to be here because I don't think it, it really slowed down the throughputs on there. But no, what a great day. Operations are fantastic here, other than really the VR. Good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to get it in there again. So other than that, absolutely brilliant. I love the vibe of this place, it's fantastic. Thank you to Pontus Thank for taking us so round. Much. Obviously getting the POVs here, it's not normally allowed. We've had some great POVs with the sun going down as well. It's been lovely. Oh, it really has been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to the park for having us. Uh, we've got a day kind of off camera tomorrow, um, enjoying the park and just taking it all in. Uh, which is important to do, isn't it? When you do what exactly, we do, yeah. having a better time away from the camera. Obviously, we're going to be filming this exclusive tour I around the wait. Grand Curiosa uh, and talking a bit about the Oceana Water Park as well. We're meeting the project manager, so that's going to be really cool. Be lovely. Uh, and that'll be the next vlog coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide. But no, a great, fantastic amusement park, world class, one of my favourite amusement parks anywhere out there that I've been to. I love this place so much, and it certainly won't be four years before I'm back here Definitely again. Not. Helix, I love you so much, and I'll see See you soon and we'll see you tomorrow with another video here from sweden and that leaves us with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you tomorrow